Welcome to our lecture online and here's a second example of how we do investment problems. These are word problems in algebra, we call this lesson 3E. And let's read the example. It says uh, Sally invested a portion of $12,000 at 7% and the remainder at 10%. How much was invested at each rate if the total interest earned was $1,032? All right, let's start by defining. Let x equal, and there's two amounts that are being invested. And so let x equal the first amount. So let, let x equal the amount invested at 7%. Now, it doesn't have to be 7%. We could have said 10%. Makes no difference. Um, but if we let x equal the amount invested at 7%, then the remainder, which can be found by taking 12,000 minus x, we take the total invested minus what we've invested at 7%, and what's left over, the difference, is equal to the amount invested at 10%. Okay, now, how do we solve the problem? We need to come up with an equation. And the way you can set up the equation is to assume this, that the amount of money earned, the dollars earned, at 7%, plus the dollars earned at 10% must equal the total earned. And we were told in the problem that the total earned was $1,032. All right, so the amount of dollars earned at 7% plus the amount of dollars earned at 10% equals the total amount of money earned. And how do you calculate the amount of money earned at 7%? Well, we multiply the interest rate, the rate of return, 7%, times the amount invested at that rate, which was x. And here, we take the rate of return, 10%, and multiply times the amount that was invested at that amount, which is 12,000 minus x. And so this plus this equals that. In other words, the amount of money earned at 7% plus the amount of money earned at 10% must equal the total amount of money earned. And now we have our equation. 0.07x plus 0.10 times 12,000 minus x equals 1,032. And of course, the first thing we want to do here is get rid of decimal places. That means we multiply the first or the left side by 100, because we have to move the decimal place over by two places here, but we must do the same to every term in the equation, both the left and the right side. 100 times 0.07 is 7x, plus 100 times 0.1 is 10 times, oop, that would be 12,000 minus x, equals 100 times this, which is 103,200. Okay, next we multiply this through to get rid of the decimal place, or not the decimal place, but the parentheses. 7x plus 10 times this is 120,000. 10 times the minus x is minus 10x equals 103,200. Now, moving the 120,000 across, so we have all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the other side. We end up with 7x minus 10x equals 103,200 minus 120,000. Okay, next we combine like terms. So this is minus 3x on the left side equals this minus this. That would be 16,800 with a negative in front because this is bigger than that. Okay, and now the last part, if we divide both sides by the numeric coefficient in front of the x, the negative 3's cancel out, the negatives here cancel out, and this gives me 5,600, and so x was defined as the amount invested at 7%, which means that the decision was made by Sally, Sally, right, to invest $5,600 at 7%, and the remainder, 12,000 minus that, which would be $6,400 at 10%. And that's how you figure that out.